Hello, beautifuls. Welcome back to my Chanel. Oh, my goodness. My name is Luxaria, and I have a collection of bizarre reality TV uh, review, shall we say? Uh, commentary and review videos on my Chanel. And a couple of weeks ago, we looked at the Swan Girls. Life forever. <gasps> a completely different person. I could never. Now, I can't actually tell you how bloody difficult it was to find any of this information about the Swan show. The Swan was a reality TV plastic surgery competition show from 2004 on the Fox network. Can you imagine? Can you actually imagine? Yes, it was a real thing and it did in fact happen. So let me tell you, my loves, let me tell you the amazement I found when I actually was able to grab this on Amazon. Now, I managed to get this. This is the complete uh, series, series one and series two, which were the only two series of The Swan. I grabbed this on Amazon from like a secondhand seller for 30 quid, and it took three weeks to get to my house, and it came brand new, which means it was made in like 2004, and nobody had opened it. I was like fully gagged. So this actual series has been scrubbed from the internet. Like, you will not find it anywhere to watch online. It's even been featured in some of those, you know, those videos that are like, Lost footage, girls, what has been scrubbed from the internet, never to be seen again. It's one of those sorts of things. So I thought today what we could do, as I've already looked at a little bit of the swan, I felt like it didn't really give me enough of a scope to really understand what was going on on this show. So today, my lovelies, today we're going to look at season one, disc one, episode one of the swan. And we're going to watch it, or at least I'm going to watch it in my entirety. I'm going to watch it, the whole thing from start to finish, really understand what exactly they put these contestants through. And I'm going to do this as a series. I think we can work through all of it. I think it's only eight episodes in total. So that's what, eight videos over the next year. I'm sure you guys will absolutely love it because I am fully gagged. I want to see what the surgeries were that they put these women through. I want to see what the, the training regimes that they put them through. I want to see the healing that they did and any aftercare, if they provided any at all. Now, I must say, remember that this is 2004. So A, you get four pixels and you'll be happy with that. And B, the times were slightly different, so I can't imagine this being very, like, nice, if you know what I mean. I don't know. The fact that it's called The Swan makes me feel like, mm, I don't expect most of the comments in this video to be nice. So, my lovelies, yes, you may in fact tell that I have sort of like a lilac tone to my hair. I left my toner on so long. I left it on too long, and now I'm doing a little bit of, like low-cost Ultimisia cosplay, which I kind of like. I kind of like. Shall we pop the DVD into the orifice and watch the Swan Season 1, girls? All right, this time I'm going to put two Orhanger in. Can you imagine? <gasps> Scandal, girls. As this is a viewing party, I have a beverage ready for me right here. Ultra Fiesta is the best, sis. The best. In the most unique competition ever. The woman who has earned a place in the pageant is... A group of ordinary women. You're going to be a swan. Oh, I'm so excited. I never thought in a million years it would happen to me. Hand over their lives to a team of cosmetic and plastic surgeons. You have to be a little bit more dramatic to her face. They will be put through a brutal three-month makeover. Yeah. This process oh, is Oh, my God. For the chance to become beauty queens. The liposuction will give her a killer body. Each week... Two contestants will be trans... Sorry, they do all of this in three months. That is an incredible amount of work to have done. How are you meant to, like, heal from your surgeries in less than three... Like, you don't see the results of facial surgery for, like, 18 months. How is this possible? Oh, this is a lot worse than I thought, sis. Oh. Born. I was just an easy target for kids to pick on. But only one will be judged beautiful enough to move on to the pageant. I am going to be a new person. Only one will be judged beautiful enough to move on to the pageant. My goodness, this really is cesspit, isn't it? More of this I can take. I told you you're gonna do this. Swan transformation requires discipline. From this moment on, you gotta eat properly. You have to think military. 24-7 commitment. Sacrifice. I would hate to see all the work you've done and then butter makes you lose the pageant. And paid. I feel worse than I expected and I need to lay down before I punch somebody in the face. They will be constantly evaluated. She could go into an emotional tailspin. I have to get up. Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing. And they will do all this without ever seeing their reflection. Oh my goodness, no mirrors, no mirrors, no mirrors. Until the final reveal. Oh my god, that's so beautiful. All in the quest to be crowned the swan. Because it is literally 
literally insane. And my audio was probably like, capping girls. What on earth was that trailer? I have like tingles all over my body. I feel so many emotions at that. The amount of things that we heard just in that like short, how long was that? One minute and 48 seconds. What? We, uh, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, and those of us in between or neither, we are, <gasps> we're in for a treat, aren't we? Oh my God. Oh, it's very Hollywood house, isn't it? Good evening, I'm Amanda Byram, and welcome to The Swan, the most unusual competition ever devised for television. I love the fact she has two male servants just being like, time to open the doors for this woman swanning into the mansion. I love that. Tonight, two average looking women will go head to head in pursuit of their dream. Average looking women? Now, thanks to the best plastic surgeons in the country, these two women are about to experience the most radical transformations ever attempted. But by the end of the night, only one of our contestants will be changed enough <gasps> to make it to the ultimate beauty pageant and have a chance to be crowned the swan. I love that. Go over and caress this banister. The chance to be caressing this banister. Off you go, lady. dramatic was shows from like 2004 look at all these like boom boom tish this is happening girls like it's so over the top isn't it wow okay oh it's jeffrey star's house this is the most unique experience of our careers our goal is to transform average women into confident beauties it's a brutal regimen over three months. Only some will make it. But <gasps> all will be changed forever. It's He's from Botched, isn't he? He's the doctor from Botched. No, wh well, <laughs> why would you ever be involved in a show like this? Let's begin with Kelly Alemi from Abingdon, Maryland. Oh, what Kelly. she reacts when we surprise her with the news that she is joining the Swan program. Kelly, I have a surprise for you. <laughs> Congratulations, you're going to be a swan. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I just can't believe I heard it on the radio and I just never thought in a million years it would happen to me. My name is Kelly Alemi. What a reaction. Honestly, this is it's so difficult to watch because, like, quite clearly, these people might not be able to afford all of this surgery and procedures that they're going to go through. So I can imagine it's very, like, it is seen as one of those things where it's like you kind of cling to it as a bit of hope, like this last little bit of hope that you're like, yes, make me beautiful. Oh, but it just also at the same time makes my skin crawl a little bit. Do you know what I mean? Mm. I want to be a swan because I would love to look in the mirror one day and be able to be happy with what I see. <gasps> She never saw herself as being as pretty as other people. When I was in middle school, everyone isolated me. They would spit on me if I had no friends. It was hell. I think that's like when I lost my soul. What? I cannot believe how heavy this show is. This girl has just said that she feels like she lost her soul from bullying in school and her family is like on here also saying the same things. Oh my God. Okay, so this this has to be like amped up, right? This can't be like... I would never think anyone would be looking at me and think that I'm pretty. I don't like my legs, my boobs. I don't like to show my body at all. I love this. You, that. there is absolutely nothing wrong with you, Kelly Alemi. Absolutely nothing wrong with you. Bob, he loves me oh. for who I am. If she could just gain a little more self confidence, I think that her and I would have a better relationship than what we do now. Okay. Bob and I have been intimate probably about seven or eight times in the last three years. Wow. She oh my God, did you see him? She's very sexy about herself. It does strain the relationship. I want to be able to look at my parents and feel good about who I am. Guess 
see the thing is everybody deserves to look in the mirror and feel comfortable with their appearance and feel happy about who they are so i do understand it from that point of view of of why you want to get like cosmetic surgery personally i'm an advocate for cosmetic surgery you have the money you have the funding you've done your research and you know exactly what you're going to undertake and what you want fixed and how much you want it fixed by that i have no problem with cosmetic surgery the problem with it is is this feels very predatory this feels like we're gonna let all the all the all the working class folk apply to this show and we're gonna choose one of you to become one of us a hollywood elite like that's kind of what i'm the that's the kind of vibes i'm getting from it and i can't shake that feeling oh it's gross i'm gonna be a swan <laughs> good, good luck. This man has absolutely no idea what being a swan is. Look, he's so befuddled and confused, poor thing. I can't please. Of course, I don't think you need any of it. <laughs> Lovely mother. If I could look into the mirror at the end of all of this and be happy with who I am and what I've achieved, then I've won. I'm ready to be a swan. <laughs> wow. Where do you begin with Kelly? Kelly's a really cute girl. She needs to be able to feel sexy, and to do that, it's pretty easy. You do breast augmentation, <gasps> suction, with a lot of training, and she's a winner. We can really transform her. To feel sexy, you get breast augmentation and liposuction. Ah, oh, just the, the ease that he said that with. It just was like, so like, well, this is exactly what you need. Off you go, girls. Done. What about facial surgery? I think she needs a focal point of interest in terms of her face. And I think she would look really nice with fuller lips, soften her up, bring some sensuality. Yeah, she also needs some more definition. I mean, you want to take some fat out of her face, take some <gasps> fat out of her cheeks, take, take some fat out of her chin, open up her eyes, really make her prettiness come out. And I think maybe once she feels better about her face and her lips and has a great smile and good teeth and doesn't have cracks or breaks, she'll feel good about herself and be able to kiss. Well, Kelly said at the end of her... This is an insane amount of surgery to have done in three months. What was that already? Already we've got endo brow lift, we've got liposuction on the chin, the jawline and the face and the stomach. We've also got uh, breast augmentation. We've also got cosmetic dentistry, which in, in this case what seems like they're going to shave down her teeth and put on veneers. That's a lot. That is a lot. So far, and we're not even finished. Are you guys ready for her? Yes. yes. We're ready. What are the other two people? features <gasps> several procedures starting with her face. She'll have a brow lift, lip enhancement, liposuction of her chin and cheeks, several visits to the dermatologist, collagen and LASIK eye surgery. For Kelly's body, she'll have breast augmentation and liposuction in six different areas. Dental procedures will include zoom bleaching, da Vinci veneers, cleaning and repairing her teeth. For her fitness transformation, Kelly will be put on a 1200 calorie a day diet and spend quite a bit of time in the gym. For confidence and self-esteem, she will undergo weekly therapy and coaching. Oh, did you, sorry, was that a weekly therapy? Weekly. So we're doing all of these things. We're doing a diet and cardio twice daily, but you're only getting once a week therapy? That is severely underbalanced. Something like this would need at least daily therapy because when you go in for surgeries, your daily mood changes so dramatically from all your hormones and all your inflammation that your body is going through to fight off any infection and to also deal with the trauma that's just happened to your body. So the idea that they're like, weekly therapy and a bit of coaching, yeah, is insane. She she should have a therapist like with her at all times so that she can talk about everything that she's going through and feel so much better. Wow, that is insane. Kelly's competitor this evening is Rachel LaFraser, a 27-year-old construction company. Rachel LaFraser. Washington. Let's surprise her with the news that she's joining the program. <gasps> God. Congratulations, you've been selected as one of the swans. <laughs> oh, it's Rachel. Oh. <laughs> I think this transformation is going to change my life because I oh, do look at believe that how you feel about yourself physically does play a part in how you react to the world and your Absolutely. environment. I have a horrible profile. I would like my nose to be fixed and I want to take care. Horrible. That's a pretty strong word. Horrible profile is a really strong word. I can't feel, I can't help but feel like the, pro the producers must have amped them up in this. They must have been like, yeah, what's your worst part? Yeah, what's your worst feature? Would you call it horrible? Will you give us a soundbite to say your profile is horrible, girls? Like, it just feels like a lot. Do you know what I mean? I feel average because I look at myself in the mirror and that's what I see. There's nothing wrong I with average. I had an impact on my relationship with my husband. Oh, okay. She's a little average. Oh. But 
When she's happy, she's a very beautiful person. I would best describe my daughter as uh, a female copy of me. I've uh, always felt insecure all my life. My relationship with my dad what? is complicated. I was in oh, the third no. grade. He said, that I told your teacher just not to expect too much out of Rachel. <gasps> Imagine your parents saying that about you to a teacher. Don't expect too much out of Rachel. And also, did you hear that noise? That, like, lightning bolt noise they put in there? God, post-production were having a right old field day with this, weren't they? I think that was probably one of the lowest points in my life. Oh, my God. And when you're a person who doesn't have a great deal of self-esteem, sometimes you feel like, why do I bother? Wow. 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 If there are any parents watching this, I'm guessing that you, 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 I'm, I trust that you are really great parents, but please just cuddle your kids and tell them they're doing okay. Cause this world is, this world will swallow them up and things that happen to you as kids is brought fully into adulthood, sis, with a massive flag on it that says trauma. We need to minimize that as much as possible. I want to make a difference in my life. I don't want to feel sorry for myself. That little clip that I watched in my last video about the swan with the like edited thing didn't give me the full context, sis, because this is, I feel quite gross watching this actually. Rachel says she looks in the mirror and she sees average, but correct me if I'm wrong, the men in her life don't seem to be so supportive of her. Is that where it stems from? She's <gasps> carrying all that inadequacy that her father feels into her own life. That would be something we need to explore in therapy. I think she's a difficult Yes, before any surgery. What do you want to do with that nose, Randall? Well, I think the biggest problem with her is that she's got such long nostrils seen from the side, you can almost see into her nose. And I have to correct that. I have to open up those eyes, lift up the corners of her eyes. She's got a sad look, liposuction, her chin, breast lifts, and total body liposuction. Oh, do you need God. any time for Greg to work on her? I think it's going to be tough. She needs a lot of cardio work. I'll probably put her on a stair climber for those big, long legs. It says here she's never been able to exercise regularly or even at all. So you better keep me informed so I can keep her on track for the pageant. One of her complaints. And I love the fact that this is all for a pageant, like all to be like, oh, and who's the most beautiful of the beauty that we've given you? It's just shocking. In their papers is that her smile is a handicap because she can't bite into anything. Her mouth is almost open when she closes it. I'd like to close down her bite and create nice, softer teeth. You can have things that are really glamorous and don't function, hashtag, or you can have things that are not glamorous at all, but function perfectly. Rachel's swan plan will include a nose job, lip enhancement, a chin implant, brow lift, liposuction, and several visits to the dermatologist. <sighs> For her body, she'll have a breast lift and liposuction in five different areas. Wow. At the dentist, Rachel will have Zoom bleaching, a full set of Da Vinci veneers and cleaning. Her fitness regimen will include a 1200 calorie a day diet and two hours a day of intense cardio and weight training, as well as therapy and coaching to build self-esteem. It literally sounds like they're putting them all through the same procedures, if you know what I mean. So all of these women are going to come out looking exactly the same because that's exactly what these one or two surgeons do. They create the same face over and over and over again. That's why you go to different surgeons. Me, as a trans woman, when I'm going to go to my facial feminization surgeons, I have several surgeons in my mind of who I want to go to because of the results that they create. So the idea that you don't have, like, more than one type of surgeon on this show is bizarre because everyone's going to come out looking the same as if there is only one definition of what beauty is. You won't believe how far they've come. Who will go to the pageant and who's going home? Next on The Swan. What? Who's going to the pageant and who's going home? You all are going home, sis. You need to go home and think about what you've done. Rachel and Kelly arrive. They quickly discover the first Lovely rule. Airbnb. No mirrors. There's no mirror. So I have to like figure out how much weight I've lost by pinching myself. <laughs> this is just the beginning. They have no idea the challenge that lies ahead. We have chosen you to undergo a life-changing transformation. The program begins now. At least 
Three months without seeing yourself in a mirror, that is incredible. So not only do you not see yourself over like the healing results, you the last time you saw yourself fully in a mirror, well, you will look 100% completely different the next time you see yourself. How much trauma does that cause to the brain? Like imagine having PTSD from not recognizing yourself because you've gone on a show, like, wow. Clearly gonna need a lot of body work and major liposuction. But enhancing her facial features and really defining her face could oh, be the so ticket sweet. to getting her into the pageant. All we have to do is do liposuction. It's all about the pageant. That'll help define your chin better. Maybe a little bit of fat we could remove from here and it would look really good. We can put breast implants in and that will raise the breasts up nice. I'm gonna get rid of all my bras. I'm excited. I am gonna be a new person in three months. That's a lot of surgery. They even just had to have two surgeries, two full surgeries within a three month span is a lot of work to have done. During your healing, you were also put on a 1,200 calorie diet and cardio two hours a day. My voice is irate. I am irate. This whole situation is irate, girls. Oh, they've all got gout. We have to do quite a bit of a body change on her. She does have quite a bit of liposuction to do. So that will be a challenge. I don't know, I definitely feel a certain type of way about male surgeons working on a female body to be like, this is what we need to do to you in order to make you beautiful. I feel like these sorts of things need to be like consulted with for several doctors. You don't usually go to your first choice, do you sis? No, anyone out there who's had surgery, you'll know that you shop around first to really see what the consultants are saying, what the second opinions are, how much it's going to cost and what the, you know, what their profession is. You don't just literally go to one man and he says, we're gonna give you boobs, we're gonna give you face, we're gonna give you no tummy, off we go. Like you don't do that in the real world. Gosh, not even 20 years ago. That's just so weird. Kelly's visit to the dentist is a different story. <gasps> oh no. Oh, what's all this? I'm scared of the dentist, so it was a pretty, pretty traumatic time for me. What's with We're doing IV dramatic music? Today, so that'll calm her down when we do all the treatment. It takes away all the scary stuff. And seriously, what I'm going to do on you today is super easy. Okay, and you won't Poor feel thing. anything, I promise. Poor thing. The first step is thorough cleaning, then filling cavities, bleaching, and prepping for veneers. Oh she has gosh. teeth in the front. She'll have to come back to get her permanent veneers on. It was a lot more painful than I thought. We're all done. If Kelly thought the dentist chair was tough, just... I love the fact that they're like, wait, what? Wait till she hits the gym with our swan trainer. Wait, so they were like, if she thinks the dentist is tough, wait until she gets even more fucked up and PTSD from this experience. That is incredible but like i love the fact that they just did this like dentist appointment like to get veneers is a serious undertaking it costs a lot of money in the real world and it takes a long time to do you can be in the doctor's office or the dentist office for like 12 14 hours so the fact they just glossed over that like well she didn't like the dentist but you know what it's fine now she's on to the gym my goal weight is 120 so i have to lose 39 pounds 39 pounds in three months pounds is a lot of weight to ask for 39 pounds in three months 39 pounds in three months on top of surgery? Wow. I mean, even after surgery, Kelly's gonna have to work extremely hard to get that weight off. Not what you expected. <sighs> no, it's not what I expected. My goal weight is to be 145 pounds. <gasps> Tonight, She's got 45 pounds to lose in three months. Kelly and Rachel see each other for the last time before their surgical transformations. The next time our competitors meet, only one will have transformed enough to make it to the pageant. Oh, I hate this concept of like, well, only one of you can be the beautiful swan girls. How like tainted and awful is that? Making cosmetic surgery a competition is obscene. I don't get it. So are they like isolated in their apartments by themselves and they only see the production team and like people with a camera on in three months? The levels of stress that this would put on the body is incredible. It was very weird to see the marks on my face and to look in a mirror because I haven't been able to look at myself. It was kind of nice because it's, you know, you get to say goodbye and you get to look for the last time at what you're going to look like. Oh, God. So it's, it's a nice memory. Wow. A memory. What? I called my husband and he didn't answer. <gasps> it would have been nice to be able to tell him that well, right now I'm going in. But I'm not worried. This is my first step toward making it to the pageant. 
she called her husband and he didn't pick up the phone. There's some problems going on here, sis, that we have not addressed. And it seems like she wasn't allowed to call anyone else, a mum, a relative, a friend or something just to be like, I'm actually going in for this now. Can I hear some words of support? Like she's had no words of support. This is back in the day before like iPhones and iMessage and WhatsApp was like readily available in your pocket. But like, so before I went into surgery for my hairline, I was, I, I said goodbye to like all of my friends and family and I had like a moment of being like just in case something happens just know that i love you and the idea that this woman didn't get this is insane it's such a fundamental point to be like oh, and breathe out and go into the surgery you're like oh lots of emotions ah. i'm very optimistic about it we'll do liposuction we'll start around her waist area so I'm going to pause just there because I, oh, buttock, I have absolutely no idea how much of this I'm going to be able to show because YouTube is like, no, 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 can't see any of that. So let's give her a midline first. Oh. I can make improvements, but there are no guarantees when it comes to plastic surgery. That's the T, sis. That is the T. There are no guarantees when it comes to cosmetic surgery. So the idea that they can't shop around and find out more than one opinion on what they want done is insane. In addition to transforming Rachel's face, I was able to also redefine her whole lower body, including her abdomen, and at the end of the case, I performed a breast lift. I've given her an alluring, more tantalizing face. Alluring, more tantalizing face. I have given her an alluring, more tantalizing face. I can't believe the level of surgery that happens in one go. This is surely any cosmetic surgeons or cosmetic nurses or anyone in the medical industry that happens to watch this video. This is insane, right? This is insane. From start to finish, this is insane. In a couple weeks, it'll be all worth it. Oh. Rachel has completed her surgery. It's time to see how Kelly handles the operating room. I'm at Dr. Jabir's office and I'm getting ready to have my plastic surgery. Oh. I'm kind of concerned about not having someone here that I'm really close to, to exactly. watch over me. You need that. This is a huge... Hi, hon. Oh. I'm getting ready to go into surgery, so I want to call you. Are you scared, hon? Yeah. I'm with you. Okay, I love you. I, I love you too, babe. Bye. Bye. <sighs> Thank God I got to talk to him. <gasps> and that was robbed from Rachel. You're nervous. Yeah, I'm can I just say, I love Kelly's voice. This like really sweet softness. She's so sweet. Like my heart is so open to this girl. Kelly and Emmy, if you are watching this, I would love to talk to you about your experience and I hope everything is beautiful for you. Mm. I have a drawing for you that yeah. my friends made before I left. They each picked a part that I want to have done. So each part's going to get dedicated to them. You want to look like this. Yeah, just like that. Uh, start the lights. God, it's doing? so violent. I'm doing the lower buttock area. Uh, that would be for Jerry. Ah, Jerry, this butt's for you. Oh. Doing breast augmentation now. This along with the liposuction and some really hard gym workout will give her a killer body. Whoa, baby. I just feel like he was treating us so much like an object or a product then and not a human, don't you? She's very emotional. She has a right to be. Some percent of patients go into a significant depression right after surgery. They do. She's at risk for that. Well, you should have told her before. Look, poor thing. What's with that sound as well? Like, doom has befallen the citadel in the evening. The sad reality is, after surgery, you will experience some level of depression. That's just a fact. You've had this huge trauma happen to your body, and you're like, your body is drained of all the, like, normal hormonal balance that you have. I am really at risk for feeling depressed after surgery. I literally had my eye bags filled with filler recently, and, like, a week later, I was like, this is the worst thing I've ever done to myself. Why am I doing this i feel so depressed this is absolutely awful i'm really in tune with feeling emotional in this sense so like i fully cannot imagine going through all of this work in one day and then not having your friends and family around you to provide relief and comic relief and like someone who actually knows you to not see your reflection to be stuck in a house by yourself and only therapy once per week this show is unethical and immoral rachel completed her surgery in relatively good spirits despite being unable to reach her husband, while Kelly was an emotional wreck, causing concern for her recovery. It really hurts like great right here. I'm really concerned about Kelly Alemi's attitude. She's been whining and depressed after surgery. Kelly Alemi's attitude. She's been whining and depressed. This woman is meant to be a coach, you know. 
Oh, I do not like this woman immediately already. I just feel like, how dare you say that someone is whiny after surgery? She's having an extreme amount of work done under extreme amount of pressure. If this woman's like, suck it up, girls, you need to go to the pageant, I'm gonna get so irate. Peter Bro and I are gonna have to go see her. Of course you are. I'm here. I am it hurt. But it's too Can you handle that? Yes. Is that better? Okay, you're done. I told you you're gonna get depressed, didn't I? It just marks the beginning of the end of the recovery. How Honestly. aggressive was that? Kelly has to pull herself together and fight this depression if she's gonna make it to the pageant. Kelly continues to It's not about the pageant, sis! It's about this life-changing thing you've put her through. Ooh. Rachel faces her own challenge. I think the hardest part of my recovery is that I have to go through it alone. Yes! I'm having serious issues with my husband <gasps> because of his lack of support. Oh my god. I hate this mic, I'm not a You lie, no. I know you're there. Uh, I've asked him to please keep his phone with them because you never know when you might get a call from me. You better answer today. How useless is this man? Wow, there is something going on here that we have not spoken about. My goodness. I'm, wow, imagine not giving your wife or your significant other support when they're going through this massive process. The men surrounding her life are just awful, it seems, according to this show. I mean, like, obviously I am seeing a an overly produced show. I feel like she hasn't gotten the emotional support that she needs. Oh, it's gonna seriously piss me off and he does not answer his phone. Hello? Hi. What's going on with you? Nothing. Like, what have you been doing all this week? Working? Yep. Tired? Mm, a little bit. I'm not liking this conversation. <gasps> and don't you dare get quiet on me. You don't get to see me. You don't get to talk to me. I need a little bit now, okay? Work, and then I come home. When I go back to work. When I come home. When I go back to work. Yeah. Come home. So that's your life, sis. <sighs> oh my god. Been okay out here. I've been going get rid to of him. Mm -hmm. Did you get my um my letter that I sent you? Oh yeah, I got it uh, yesterday. Did you like that? Mm-hmm. Are you married to a plant? Like, you can see the stress and anxiety in this, and in, in Rachel's, like, face. Oh, my God. What, what, like, I can understand you can be, like, embarrassed to talk, but, like, you are seeing your, you're talking to your wife who's been waiting desperately to talk to you. You're the only person that she gets to communicate with. For God's sake, what is wrong? <gasps> I'm gonna let you go, okay? Bye. 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 First time he's had to take hardly any freaking responsibility in our whole entire lives together, which is going on five years now. Ugh. I've taken care of everything. The least he can do is just sit there and talk to me for 10 minutes. Get rid of him! Get rid of him! Rachel's home life comes up session after session. My job is to make sure that her emotional transformation is as profound as her physical one. I'm just trying Ooh. to keep my family together me and nothing I do is good enough either there's been times where I don't trust him I feel um, you know resentful to the person who's not putting in as much effort as I am if you let yourself acknowledge it you have a chance to start working through it wow it's I don't know how I feel about showing therapy in a show like this I don't know because like obviously immensely personal details are going to be discussed what do you guys think about this in the comments box below because I feel like therapy is a really personal thing that's why you only usually have you your therapist and someone else that you might invite to that session if you were going to therapy and you wanted to work on something and there was a camera crew in the room with you I know for me it would put me off of wanting to talk about some really deep things that I might actually need to work through on a show like this feel that it's skinny <laughs> my turkey is or it's gone now come God, on there are some boobies <laughs> her spirits have come back and she just looks great now that i'm feeling better i can't wait to be in the pageant it says i gained point two <gasps> he sucked eight pounds out of me so i still can't be 159. my what? boobs do water. not weigh eight pounds water says i'm gonna weigh him then 
It's not registering on my boobies. That's not I know how it works. Weigh eight pounds. There's no, their dedication to getting in shape will be the key to earning a spot in the pageant. Also, breast augmentation might weigh eight pounds, right? Four pounds in each booby? Is that insane? I don't, do you know, I don't actually know. I've never actually looked into that. <gasps> Scandal, girls. I'm giving it my all. I deserve to make it to the pageant. I will be completely devastated if I don't get to the pageant. Rachel has 20 more pounds to lose, while Kelly still has 35. <gasps> they have one month before their final reveal to get into pageant form. One month? She's not going to lose 35 pounds in one month? This talk of the pageant is so intense, isn't it? It's like the pageant, the pageant. You're doing this all for the pageant, not for your own wealth of mind. No, the pageant, the pageant, the pageant. The pageant, girls. I made some dramatic changes to Rachel's face and body, but how she heals this may a combination so scary. of science, genetics, and a little bit of luck thrown in. The competition continues next on The Swan. We haven't seen either of them in a month, and they haven't seen themselves in almost three months. That's insane. Remember, as amazing as it sounds... Did she just say, we haven't seen them in a month? So they just abandoned them? They what will a lovely see themselves necklace. for the first time since they started the programme. And Dr Hayworth, you worked your magic on her. What can we expect to see? What This whole sort of, like, standing in the hallway ready for the reveal, it feels very like Hollywood elite rituals from the conspiracy theorists. Do you know what I mean? How weird does that seem? So I guess it's time to see if the self-confessed average girl has blossomed into a bombshell. Here she is, the brand new Rachel Love Fraser. I'm speechless, girls. Uh, overwhelmed. Oh my god, <laughs> so am I. Come with me. She still oh. hasn't seen how she looks. Rachel, you think you look like right now. If it's anything the way I feel, I think I look beautiful. Amazing. <gasps> it has been three months since you've actually seen that was a reflection so cool. of yourself. Well, it's time. Okay, okay. Behind that curtain, there's a mirror. Satan! It's waiting for you to walk up to it to be revealed so you can come face to face with the new Rachel. They also didn't mention that she and went to the hairdresser. I'll ask you to walk up to the curtain. No, hairdresser's not that important. I'll ask no. you if you're ready. Come on, girls, come Only on. Only when you feel comfortable, Rachel. The curtain will be pulled back and you'll be able to see yourself for the first time in three months. Oh, this is so weird. So weird. Oh, my God. Oh, come on. Average. Oh my god. <laughs> How would you describe yourself now? I mean, she is stunning. And beautiful. But she was also stunning before. <laughs> Rachel, you mentioned your husband. I mean, you've had a Leave him. difficulty Leave with him. him over the past couple of months. How do you think he's going to react? Maybe he's going to be stunned. He's going to be absolutely positively stunned. He needs to go, sis. There's Does not no deserve you. You recognize me. Kelly Alemi. Experts, let's talk about Kelly's program. Now, we all know that our Kelly is a very emotional woman. I mean, she cried from the very moment we met her. But with the help of the Swan team, we got her through it. 
Wonderful. Uh, Greg, Wonderful. She also had Shut up. Time. The thing is, with a show like this, they're not going to be like, and Kelly failed. No. Kelly, no. She doesn't like herself. No. Let's see if she made it into beauty pageant material. Here she is. What? The brand new Kelly Alemi. Cult, 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 cult. I do like a blonde, though. I do like a blonde woman. Gosh, look at her bosoms. Wow. They really look older, though, somehow. There she looks nice. Yeah, maybe it's the hair. Maybe she needed a more flowy, a flowy bouffant. You are beautiful. How are you? I'm good. You're good? Come with me. Come on. Oh, oh Kelly, I have one question for you. What have you done with Kelly? <laughs> Where is she? How do you feel? I've never been able to look in the mirror and think that I was pretty or mm. I always found something wrong oh. with me. Since I've been here, I haven't been able to concentrate on the outside. So I got to restructure my inside and transform on the outside. And that's the whole reason I came here. Wow, that was quite Need a sentence. I even ask, the level of emotions. There's a shot wasn't it no oh, gosh come on yes in front of the illuminati symbol an unexpected reaction but also really difficult to watch that the the wave of emotion that she felt there with her like just stoic face must have been so intense wow 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 is the only word ladies one of you is about to move on to the pageant and could be crowned the swan What is this? What even is this? What is this? Rachel Love Fraser. <gasps> Congratulations. Wait a second. I'm they show you on the back of the box. box. I'm not sure Kelly took it to the level she could have taken it. Scandal girls. <sighs> Kelly. Oh. Couldn't have taken it to the level. Rachel's what? weight ended up right on the dot, just perfect. She lost the 32 pounds that she needed to. I just want to thank everybody for changing my life, and Rachel's going to do really good. You are amazing, Kelly. What an absolute Well, Kelly, star. before we say goodbye to you, I've got one last surprise. Come over here with me. Oh, it's Kelly. Boyfriend. Husband? Gentlemen. Boyfriend. Start your engines, and may the best gout win. The music. <gasps> oh my god. I feel quite emotional. She's oh my absolutely god. beautiful. I couldn't believe it. I when I turned the corner, I had a hard time even Why recognizing her. This is she's, insane. she's gorgeous. <laughs> A whole look. Fairy <laughs> godmother. Oh, this is very Disney, isn't oh it? She looks even more beautiful now than she ever did before. Oh. I just love her so much with my baby sister. Oh. Very sweet. Look at all of you. What is this? What, what is this? <laughs> Reality TV is the most ob obscene roller coaster of emotions from start to finish. Look at the amount of emotions I have felt through this entire single episode of my YouTube channel. Like, what? 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 And wishes do come true. <laughs> 
<laughs> wow. It's time for the preparations to begin, Rachel, because the next time we and see you... get to see her. ...we'll be at the pageant. Well, this coming Monday, the transformations continue as two more women vie for a spot on the most unusual pageant ever devised. Who will so, be named the Swan? Rachel doesn't get any support from anyone. What? 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 Wow. Okay, I have some thoughts. Let's return. Push my laptop away from me there and take away my... Oh, Hong Gualier. I have so many thoughts. What the absolute fuck have we just watched from start to finish? Literally insane. It just goes to show you that like the majority of the problems that these two women were facing were like fundamentally fully self-esteem issues. Maybe that's from like what they were feeling in their lives and uh, from the inside. And then like Rachel having to deal with, I don't know, judging from the show that I've just watched, it seems like the males in her life have just been like, awful to her. Do you know what I mean? Like, I don't know if it was amped up. I mean, I'm guessing it probably was, for it is reality TV. The transformations, I can't lie, like, they were pretty impressive, but my god, the amount of stress to undertake in three months must have an effect on the psyche of a human, correct? I feel very all over the place. Oh, I've got gout. Let me know what you think about what we have watched in the comments box below. And let me know also if you would like to continue watching the rest of these to put them on my YouTube channel. Today's Twitch shout out goes to ZNECL. Thank you so much for following me over on Twitch, you stunning woman on the go. And if you want to be in with a chance of being featured in my next video's Twitch shout out, make sure you go and follow me over on Twitch. I stream three nights a week. That's Sunday, Monday and Thursday and it is Luxaria Plays. Once again, I want to say a massive thank you to my Patreons. You can see yourselves all on the screen right here. Oh, yes, you can, no say. Yes, you can, no say. And I want to say a massive thank you and a huge shout out to my top tier Patreons and channel members, Stephanie Niatupski, Morigany Wolf, Erin Conkle, Magustula Goose, Steph Tech, Caitlin Wright, Megan Holly, Dana Broderick, Moldy Apple, Orko Samoji, Lynx Howl, and Jared Pavlovsky. Thank you so much for supporting the channel and allowing us to thrive. Can you hear? I've got some things going on in my voice. I'm all a bit shaken up, girls. A bit shook. Shook the house. And with that, my loves, um, I guess I'll see you in the next video. Wow, that was a lot.